I am getting really bad at vlogging, I feel like. <laughs> I was gonna film at the sewing meeting yesterday, but I completely forgot. But I did do a lot of stuff anyway, so that's good. I was also sewing at home. I was gonna continue on my jacket, which is my big project, but I was convinced I bought a roll of uh, brown thread, but I couldn't find it anywhere, and so I did other stuff instead, like finding another two pair of pants to fix, no, I've forgotten about, and a couple of shirts I wanted to remake into uh, uh, crop tops, and so I did that instead, and then I realized I don't think it was brown thread, I think it was gold thread, and in, in that case I had it on my disc the entire time, so, well, <laughs> now it is Monday night, I haven't really been reading anything today, because I, I am uh, teaching a new girl at work uh, what we're doing, as well as being taught myself new things uh, to do, so I didn't really have time to listen to audiobook that much. And now I will be editing the vlog from last week, from the rereadathon, I think, is my plan. And then later tonight I'm going to work out. I have finally gotten back into working out after like a month of a, of a break. And uh, yeah, I, I actually went to a step session on Saturday and my legs and, and butt still hurt so much. But it's gonna be fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fun, if nothing else. So yeah, that is the plan for tonight. Hi! Uh, <laughs> it is... Tuesday, I just got back from work, I'm about to eat dinner, and I finished an audiobook today at work. I finished The Key by Mastenberg and Sara by Mark Elfgren, and uh, it's a really good series. The entire Engelsfors trilogy is so good. I gave the third book four stars. I spent the last half hour just trying not to cry, <laughs> because it's just... Ah, it's so good. Yeah, and so I started listening to uh, uh, Kiss of Steel, I think it was called, that I was listening to before the rereadathon. And, um, well, first of all, I've forgotten most of most things that happened before I started re-listening to it, but now I remember. And it is... I noticed that the, that the narrator sounds a bit like an old lady, while she's supposed to be like a 20-something year old. And uh, I just encountered my first sex scene, and that was awkward. So uh, I couldn't, didn't really want to listen at work to that. And so I didn't listen very much to audiobook today either. Also, I'm still schooling in this new girl, and I'm still being taught new things, and these new things are more involved. And so I can't really listen to audiobook while doing those. But yeah, I also read a couple more pages in Frostblood and it is it's still like fine it's just I want it to be more than this and I'm just I'm gonna finish it at least that is what's been going on um, like I said I'm just about to eat dinner and then I have another solo meeting like every week and I'm gonna actually try to bring the camera and film something because I think it gets quite boring for you guys just see me sitting on the couch telling you what I have done instead of showing you what I'm doing. So yeah, I went to work out yesterday, like I told you, it was fun. It was not as difficult as... Um, okay, so I went to Zumba and it's dancing and it's hard and, you're and you sweat, but it's not as horribly difficult as what I did Saturday, which was step. That was <laughs> so hard. And I couldn't even even do the entire entire hour, but now I did, and it was fun. And uh, I, uh, yeah, I think it's a little awkward going to these things alone, but it's as soon as you get going, you start thinking about it, and it's fun.
Hello, it is uh, Wednesday night. I have been to work all day and then I came home and had dinner and then I went to a workout. I was gonna go to Zumba but I ended up eating too late to go to that one so I rebooked and went to an aqua total training instead and it was fun. Only slight problem that as I got to the gym I saw they had signs outside saying that at 8, 8 o'clock p.m. they would turn off the hot water because they were, I think, renovating or something, redoing something with the pipes and the water. And my aqua training session started at 7.45, so I had to shower in ice cold water afterwards. But yeah, it was, it was fine. I was just really, really cold. But I really had to shower anyway because I had been swimming, so... Anyway... I have finished listening to Kiss of Steel, I think it was called, and I gave it two stars. It was, for some reason, when I started listening to it again after one week break, I just I wasn't really feeling it. It was really weird and confusing, and I just, yeah, not for me. So I gave that two stars, and I started listening instead to Red Queen, and I'm a couple of hours into that one, and... I'm actually sort of disappointed in this one as well. So I did listen to it this summer, right after the Booktubathon. Yeah, that's the one, I think. Because I I had it on my TBR then as well and decided to take that one last, so I didn't try to read it then. And it seems to become a habit with that book. Anyway, what I was, I was saying, yeah, I... I find myself being a little bit disappointed in this book. It, it might just be that as I'm listening to it, I... As things happen, I'm like, oh, right, um, at like every single sentence. And nothing is really surprising me. And since I remembered big twists from the previous time I read it, I remember being extremely shocked. Even though I also <laughs> were half asleep on a plane, I remember in my half asleep dazed state just being like, oh my god. And now I already know that's coming and it's, it's not making it fun. Sometimes knowing plot twists makes it fun to reread books, but this is just, I don't know, tedious. And uh, I'm not really feeling it, which is sad. And I'm also not listening to audiobooks as much as work, as I've been saying all week. It, and it's just... It takes so long to finish a book when I can't listen to them eight hours a day. And... Uh, when I'm also both listening to and reading books that I'm feeling a bit meh about, uh, yeah, it's not really going well. So we'll see if I finish Red Queen tomorrow, maybe. I'm not sure how much I have left on it. Three hours left if I listen double speed. So I should be able to finish it tomorrow. And if I do, we'll see if I want to continue that series or if I want to listen to something else. Because if I don't want to continue the series this time, then I probably won't ever, and I can just get rid of the books, because I still have the first two. So, yeah, I'm sad that I don't like these books anymore. I did really like Frostblood the first time. Not like enough to want to continue the series, I remember. I also passed 200 pages or something, I'm at like 230 or something in Frostblood. But then I've been like thinking about it a lot since, and I thought that meant I wanted to continue the series, but this time it's just... It's also disappointing, and I don't know what to do. So... Yeah. I'm not sure what to pick up next, if I don't listen to Red Queen. I added a lot of books by C.L. Taylor, the, one, the author of The Lie, that I listened to during the um, Buzzwordathon, because I thought she was really good. I really liked the narrator as well, but it's not the same one. But I liked her writing, so I actually wanted to listen to more of her books. Oh, I also edited a video today. I'm, I did a rough edit of my next video. So I already have on cue a video for, well, tonight, tomorrow, Thursday. And uh, I just finished rough edit for the video going up on th Saturday, which is good. Because I, I always end up, the last, last few weeks, i just been editing like the night before. Because <laughs> I have so many other things to do. <laughs> so now I feel like I'm... A little bit ahead and that's good. I also only have like one more pre-filmed video I think so I'm gonna have to record soon again.
but it will be fine. Uh, it's just gonna correlate, I think, with our shows. So I need to pre-film before that, so I don't end up swamped that week. I just finished Red Queen and uh, yeah, well, at least the last half hour I have no memories of. I remember, up to that point I remember at least a few things, but from, from half an hour on, the last half an hour I didn't remember anything. I thought the book ended earlier than it did apparently, so I slept through that. Well, I am... Um, I really don't know how I feel about this. I don't even know what rating I'm gonna give it. Maybe three stars. It's it's fine, but it's nothing amazing. And when I was listening to like an audiobook a day, it wouldn't really matter. It was just fine. I could still listen to the four books in like a week, and then we'll be over, and I could move on. But now books are not listening as much as work. I feel like it's. A bigger undertaking to actually listen to the entire series so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I think if I, if I don't continue the series now then I have no point in keeping the books I have the first two even though I listen to the audiobooks then I can just give up on the series completely maybe I should I have other books I can read but I don't know I don't know I know a lot of other people just didn't like the book so I'm not alone in that. But I did kind of like it, but at the same time not, but at the same time, I don't know what I think. Maybe I should just wait till tomorrow before I decide. When I came home from uh, sewing today, I had about half an hour left, so I just sat down on the couch, listened to the last bit. So maybe I'm just, I don't know, overwhelmed or something. I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. I'm really tired and I should go to bed. I kind of want to wait up until my partner comes home. He's not home yet. Also kind of want to go to bed. Tomorrow after work, me and my partner are going out to dinner at a restaurant. We'll see if I feel anything there or if I just, you know, devote all my time to him. And then I need to finish the video for Saturday. I have done a rough cut of it, rough edit. And I might just leave it at that because it's sort of like a discussion-y, ranty type of video and I don't want to censor myself. So maybe I'll just leave it as it is. But I feel like I, I stutter. I feel like I stutter a lot and um a lot in my videos. So I want to cut that out. But I think I got most of it. I don't even know. I don't remember. And then Saturday we have planned a day of just painting because I, I do love to paint, my partner loves to paint but we never have time to so on Saturday we'll be painting and painting and painting and it's all we're gonna do well I'm gonna work out and he has a meeting we're excellent at making plans but on Saturday we're gonna paint so I'm gonna try to film some of that I'm also getting close to finishing Frost Blood and I'm also kinda meh on that one by this time I'm not really sure what I think about anything, so I feel like I'm in a reading slump, even though I am reading every day, it's just I'm not really enjoying it as much as I did just two weeks ago, and I don't know, I'm gonna need to read something new, because I've been rereading a lot, apart from the rereadathon, I've been rereading a lot of other things as well, so maybe I just need to read something completely different not make any sense anymore.
Hello! It is once again Sunday morning and I thought I'd wrap up this reading vlog because I never do it on Saturday night. I'm gonna see what I've read this week. What I've finished this week is uh, Nicken, the third book in the English First Trilogy. A uh, really good book, a really good ending. It's um, not my favorite ending, but it's it's very, very good. And I love the series very much, and I'm very happy I have them on audiobooks. I can listen to them a lot. I can't really tell you what it's about, because it's the finale, so. Next book I finished was Kiss of Steel by Beck McMaster, which I started before the rereadathon. And when I started it, I was like... I'm not sure what I was expecting, apart from being like a paranormal romance, but it was... When I started listening to it again after the rereadathon, re 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 it wasn't really... It wasn't very good, I think. I think it, the story was confusing and I just... Yeah, I didn't really like the narrator or the characters or anything, so I gave it two stars. Next I listened to was Red Queen, which was once again a reread. I wanted to reread it, see if I could read the entire series this time and about halfway through I just I wasn't really feeling it and I it was just becoming a chore to get through. It was interesting however to actually hear the ending this time. It was more than half an hour at the end where I just didn't remember anything. So now I actually like actually finished the book. And so I decided not to continue the series and I'm gonna get rid of the two books that I have because I'm just never gonna read it. I've given it two chances and I'm not gonna continue it. What I am currently reading is Frostblood and it's still kind of good but at the same time I'm not very excited for it either so I'm just trying to get through it so I can finish it and get on with my other books. I probably won't continue the series. I actually don't like the book now as much as I did last time and um, which is a shame because I had such fond memories of it which is why I wanted to reread it and now it just I apparently misremembered or it's not as good this time as previous times, so that sucks. And then the book I'm listening to right now, if I can get Goodreads to cooperate with me, I'm currently listening to Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. And this book I'm really enjoying. I like the Japanese setting and the fact that they use a lot of Japanese words and that the narrators can pronounce these Japanese words. I, I had some issues with the male narrator for a while, because whenever he does the voice of the female character, he sounds like a child. And I don't think she's a child, she's somewhere between 16 and 18, I'm not entirely sure. And the fact that whenever she talks about him, she calls him by his name uh, or the warrior. But when he talks about her, he calls her the girl. I'm enjoying it so far and um, I really like it. So that is what I mean doing this week. I feel like it's a lot fewer books than usual, but like I've been saying, I can't listen to audiobooks as much as work. I'm getting back into it, because when I do my regular chores I can listen to audiobooks, but when I do the new chores I can't, because they're more involved. Yesterday I was, like I said, painting with my boyfriend, and I encountered the first, like, big hurdle of my only consuming media from women thing, and that was we want to have something to watch during the day, uh, while painting, to not just listen to music or watch YouTube or something. And finding a series on Netflix made by a woman about women was difficult. And at the end we had the choice of either watching like a cooking show where they didn't say who created it, just the women participating, and watching um, Miss Fisher Murder Mysteries. So we watched Miss Fisher Murder Mysteries and I adored this series. We watched like a season and a half yesterday and I'm so happy that I found it because it's so good and I'm really enjoying the characters and the stories and um, it is so good. It's about this woman in I think late 20s or early 30s uh, like after the war uh, and she is I can't say exactly how old she is but she's probably like in her 30s or 40s. She's like a kind of middle-aged woman. She's been through a lot and she doesn't want to have family or kids, she's just sleeping around and she has this amazing attitude and I think in the first episode she moves to this new town and um, and starts solving mysteries. Uh, it just sort of happens and then there's this police officer 
Jack, who in the beginning of the series he's so upset with her just stealing his cases all the time and just showing up, but they yeah, they are really adorable together and they have a very lovely friendship and um, I just, I love the character so much. There's so many women in this series. I'm so happy. It's uh, it's just really, really good. And I have another season and a half to watch. So I'm gonna see if I can get through that. I'm very happy we decided to watch it. While watching that, we also, I, I also, we, <clears throat> I finished my painting I've been working on for so long. I can't even tell if it's like one or two years I've been working on it because I literally never paint. But also I wanted to really take the time and spend time on it, make it look good. But it's it's lovely and it's beautiful and I love it and I can't stop staring at it. And it's, it's, it's not perfect but it's beautiful and I love it. And I'm so happy I finally finished it and I started a new project doing like this uh, tiny iceberg with just dots. And that would also take like ages, not as many ages but... I'm glad I chose like this tiny, <laughs> tiny canvas <laughs> and not and not like a larger one because I, I was already getting tired of it when I was doing it last night so I took a break and also I ran out of colors so I have to mix new shades of blue but I, I really like how it's turning out so that is good that, but that will be the end of this reading vlog and after this week I will be vlogging every second week it, now it's been three in a row because it was a re-readathon, but I will do this regular vlogs just every second week. So next vlog will be two weeks long. Yay! That would be fun. It will be a lot of material. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye!